Well, <laughs> what are you giggling at? Well, <laughs> yes. another day. Yeah, that's another the greatest. Another conversation. It's the greatest opening. We have some more ideas. The greatest opening ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. But, um, I don't know. It's really not a, it is funny, but not really that funny. Well, it's just funny. Yeah. Some serious conversations. Um, because mm-hmm. obviously, um, this past weekend we had a massive terror attack that took place in Orlando, Florida. Um, in the, what was it called? The Pulse nightclub. It was a gay, it was a gay nightclub where this dude rolls in and he murders 50 people. He murders 50 people and then he also wounds, you know, 50 other people. And, uh, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck around (laughs) and say that, yeah, this guy, um, had some, uh, homophobic latent issues or anything like that, even though, um, the reports are starting to come out now and it's saying that, yes, you know, maybe he could have been a closeted homosexual and maybe it was his community or his religious belief system that was keeping him uh, at bay from him actually coming out. Mm. So he had a lot of self hate mm. and a lot of self loathing that was going on. But this dude still went in and murdered 50 people over, uh, a planned, belief system. A planned. Yeah. yeah. Organized. Thing, organized thing. Yeah. So yeah. Close. Organized. And I don't know. I don't know. I know the way that I feel about it. I'm angry, uh, angry about, people who think like this of course. and people who act like this all because of uh, a belief system. Yeah. It's all because of a belief system. They take away other people's liberty, other people's rights because of their own belief system, whether it's um, infringing on people's right to do X, Y, Z, something simple, something like getting married, something, something like X, Y, and Z, visiting in the hospital versus killing people. <laughs> There's a whole spectrum. But it's, it's enforcing your idea of conformity, and yeah. this is the ultimate enforcement. Yeah. You took somebody's life. And for me, that that is the ultimate um, disrespect, because being an anarchist proper, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that is what you don't do. You don't impose or you don't coerce harm onto somebody else, right? You just don't do it. It, it is just a no-no, especially if you like to think that you are uh, um, thinking at a higher level, you know, because I'd this like is to say that's a given, yeah. right? Yeah. Just the fact that we actually have to say, I want to live my life without imposing my ideas on someone else. And that's a radical idea. Yeah. That's when you should go. Yeah. That's what yeah. You should. Yeah. But no, <laughs> because yeah, I'm, it, you know, and I guess it's like what you were saying. It's a spectrum spectrum because I'm even thinking about the crazy fucks that go around and then they're complaining about, bathrooms <laughs> right they're complaining about who is going to the bathroom what type of person is going to take a shit or a piss and you are so worried about back to your yeah your children yeah. you know oh mm-hmm. they might try to rape yeah. my children they what? are going to molest my children <laughs> you know if they're taking a piss or a shit how many of those people have tried to go into the bathroom and gotten beaten because of they were they looked the wrong way ah. right yeah anyway yeah so so I want to open, eh, we've already opened, but <laughs> I, I want to talk about the shit that's happened. Oh, I have a question about the fact, um, was he, did he take his own life or was he killed by police or how did that? I think he was killed by police. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, he wasn't, I don't think he committed suicide. Hmm. Yeah. Even though going in there, you're knowingly. And did he have like a note or a statement that said like, this is why I'm doing this? Mm, or no. Is there, everything's kind of just everyone speculating based on his <sighs> life. And okay. Here's what we know. Okay. About the dude. Mm-hmm. His name was Omar Oman Martin, right? He's a 29 year old U.S. born citizen, right? Um, of course, he murdered the people. He called 911. And then he pledged allegiance to ISIS. Okay. Right? You know, so he called 911 why he was in the act of actually committing Hearing these murders. Yeah. No, commit. He was in the act of doing it. Right. Then there's even evidence that's going on, or, you know, 
there there some people are saying that yeah he even texts his wife or his wife texts him saying I love you you know during this this whole thing it, it's this is some movie shit but it's yeah. horrible right yeah. um you have some ISIS propaganda groups that are actually claiming that yes he did this he was an ISIS fighter but then there's no confirmed evidence of that right but of course any radicalized extremist group is going to you know take claim for crazy shit that happens um that's pretty much all we know right now everything else uh, i guess everything else that's going on it, it's just like it's speculation mm, based yeah. on was he gay was yeah, he not yeah pretty much i mean there is some evidence that you know alleged alleged evidence that mm-hmm. he was a homosexual mm-hmm. you know some people are speculating that yeah you know, he did this because he hated himself and because he felt this way right. and because of his belief system. Right. Because, you know, dare I say, I shall say the name that shall not be mentioned, right? Because I can give a fuck about the Baltimore effect, right? <laughs> you know, but he was a Muslim and he practiced Islam, right? You know, this is what he did. Even though maybe some people will say, no, he didn't. No, he wasn't because he drank alcohol or he was a homosexual. And you cannot be. Muslim and you cannot practice Islam if you drink alcohol and you are homosexual, right? Which is fucked in its own right, in my opinion. Crazy. Yeah, in my opinion. Again, it's fucked up. Yeah. So this is um, this is the 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 badass quote that uh, I'm stealing from from a uh, a digital mentor, Sam Harris, right? Where he was talking about belief, right? So he basically says. To know what a belief is about, I must know what my words mean. To know what my words mean, my beliefs must be generally consistent. (laughs) Right? So, this person, right, this murderer, this terrorist, you know, believed that he was doing the right thing. That he was doing a righteous thing by killing other people. Was he living with his words consistent and knowing what his words meant? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And so doing that, it's still incongruous with how we're feeling that how we believe our belief is dependent on how we believe our words mean. Yeah, but what does that even mean? I don't know. Right, because... I mean, there's uh, a big disconnect. Yeah, there's a <laughs> massive disconnect because I was talking. I was on. I was on Facebook and I was... I was talking to um, friends who happen to be Muslim, right? And and they're 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 going off, and then nobody wants to own this, right? No Muslim wants to own what happened, right? They say that no, he was not practicing Muslim. He was an extremist. He? he was yeah. this or he was that. He was but mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. There we go. The mentally ill. He was a mental nutcase. I had somebody specifically say that, that he was a mental nutcase. So, um, this is when I start thinking about the logical pathway uh, of what does it fucking mean to be a mental nutcase? You know, so I had to go down and of course, like we were saying, I must know what my words mean, right? So to know what my words mean, and if you say that somebody is a mental nutcase, then you're saying that they are not sane. Right. And then if they are not sane, then you're basically saying they're insane. Right. So insanity means that you're not a rational person. Mm -hmm. Right. That you are not basing things off of facts Mm -hmm. or or anything like that. Right. So now if your belief is irrational. Right. And you're a mental nutcase and you're basing everything that you're doing off of a doctrine or off of a book that says that you are practicing a fundamentalist ideology of this belief system and people within this belief system are saying that you are a nutcase what does that say about the belief system Hmm. i'll say it (laughs) (laughs) you're a fucking nutcase right (laughs) if you believe in this system and if you believe in it fundamentally you are a nutcase, right? Because it is based off of irrational thought, right? You know, because there, I don't know, there's no evidence, right? There's no evidence of anything that it is that you're actually believing. I think maybe the distinction is 
and it might be a minor distinction, but that kind of nut case versus someone who has like bipolar, schizophrenic, like like issues mm -hmm. where they haven't been able to get the, the help that they need, blah, 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 and they do shitty things or mm -hmm. weird things, right? It, it, it's a little, I don't know where it's different, but to me it kind of feels a little different when there's or, an organic problem with the brain, right? Like What? What do you mean organic problem with the brain? <laughs> like someone's organic problem with the brain. Like they have a traumatic brain injury or they have, like they act weird. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's that's mental illness too. Right? So organic meaning it's naturally emerged? Yeah, you kind of, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Versus adopting an, an ideology that is insane. And and it's almost like, like I was saying before, like you take this maybe conscious or unconscious step to say i believe this right uh -huh. and i th and to me like i said i don't i think it's unconscious because i think a lot of people believe in religion starting at an early age because they're indoctrinated and blah 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 i think it's a little different than saying because 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 the the idea of mental illness in our culture is coming up right and i think i want to make the distinction between mental illness because of like i said before like mental retardation brain injury blah blah blah, blah like that, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff versus this ide ideology does that make sense yeah you're trying to say that if it's decided right if you decide or if you choose is it is this what you're trying to say yeah yeah, yeah. i'm talking about like like this is this i, I like i'm talking about an organic problem like a brain chemistry of serotonin or, or a neurotransmitter issue versus an actual like this is an ideology that doesn't make sense and I'm choosing to believe in it anyway. Same shit though. Is it? Yeah, because you're saying it? if, it, if it's organic, you know, mm. the reason why we do things, right, is because our neurotransmitters are firing off in our body and it mm. makes us feel a specific way, right? So, mm. then, so then it's doing this and this is the reward mechanism that's going on in your brain, right? Is that organic or is it not? Even though you could be reading a book. Okay, or you forget could be the word something. organic then. Yeah. Maybe that's the wrong word to use. So what are you saying? I'm saying some people's brains are programmed wrong. Uh huh. They don't function the way that brains function, or they're injured, right? Uh huh. And versus um, adopting ideas that are not sane. Yeah. Uh, I yeah okay I see where you're going. I'm I, I uh, I'm gonna disagree when you say programmed wrong. Okay. Their brains are functioning properly. Right, but they're functioning properly based off of their culture or their civilization. That's what I call in, that's what I'm calling program wrong. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I just I still won't won't call it wrong. Okay. But I know what you're saying. Now. Okay. 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 Yeah. So um. The whole reason I bring that up is because the whole issue of mental illness comes comes in the forefront of this. Like, are we gonna blame mental illness for this? these issues people are getting killed on the street like when i lived in santa cruz someone just got stabbed on the street because someone who didn't get the treatment they needed and they were mentally ill decided that someone was the devil when they walked down the street and stabbed them and killed them right mm -hmm. versus i'm adopting this idea that makes that tells me that it, it's a fine line right religion and the the, the ghost in your head but yeah. I, I, I think that there is okay, kind of a medical difference. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Medical difference. That's Fuck what that. I'm saying. So. I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's, here's the definition of insanity, craziness, or madness. Okay. It's, it is just nothing but a spectrum of behaviors characterized by certain abnormal mental or behavioral patterns. Insanity may manifest as violations of societal norms. Right. So, societal norms. Going out to the club, hanging out, drinking alcohol, having a good time, partying, right? Somebody disagrees with that. Everybody is going out, partying, drinking, and having a good time, right? You don't agree with that. Therefore, you go and you say, I'm going to shoot some people, right? I'm going to shoot some people because... I don't agree with what it is that they're doing. Some people that go to the abortion clinic and shoot people up. Yeah, you know, so then these people are technically insane, right? Mm -hmm. So we're calling it a terrorist problem because they are striking terror. Mm -hmm. No, what were you going to say? No. 
Yeah. You know, but I'm just going to call him fucking crazy. It's crazy, but when you when you say I'm doing this for ISIS, yeah. You're making a statement. So it's not like I'm I don't know. I think that just brings in another layer to it. And what? so it's it's that red herring we were talking about where you can have people from any religion, any culture commit these kind of crimes, but the minute you bring in something like ISIS to it, you're just adding another nuance to the fact that this is religiously based. Ah, fuck that. It's a Trojan horse. It, it is a Explain. Trojan horse. Okay. So you're using your ideology or you're using your re- your religion and you're wrapping that up in this container, right? And you're mm-hmm. wrapping it up in a container and this is what, what um, the whole Waldemar effect, you know, he who shall not be named, but radical Islam mm-hmm. is, right? It is a fucking Trojan horse that sneaks its way into society mm-hmm. and it fucks shit up, right? It wants to kill people. Right, if you don't believe with it, believe in anything that's, that's going on. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. can wrap it up into a person's mentally ill, person's this or that. Uh huh. I'm listening. But yeah. but the prime motivator was the Trojan horse. Uh, the prime motivator is the Trojan horse, or is it that these people are crazy? I guess we haven't decided the definition. Yeah, I'm saying that they're crazy. Because if you are going against societal norms, Mm -hmm. right, and you have abnormal behavior, which means that if you believe that if you go in and you kill people because you do not agree with their lifestyle, Mm -hmm. then that means that you are going against societal norms because we live in a country where we have the rule of law Mm -hmm. and you do not commit murder, right? right? You do not commit murder because you don't agree with the way that somebody lives, right? So if you do not do that, then you're fucking crazy, right? You know? And if you're crazy because of the shit that you read in a book, right, then I'm going to say that the book that you're reading is also crazy. I think that's exactly what you you, yeah. you meant. To, like, that's it. That's the crux of it right there. Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But what do you do? What do you yeah. do from here? Yeah. What do you do? Because... Because I don't think anybody's going to, I mean, you do have people that admit and then they say that, yeah, he was a nutcase. Yes, he had mental health problems, right? Yes, he beat his wife, right? Whatever that means, right? But when the person goes in and when they're doing what it is that they're doing by committing murder, um, and then they declare their allegiance to an ideology, Right, an extremist mm-hmm. fundamentalist group, right, that is doing horrible shit all over the world right now, right? What do we do about so that? So you go in there and yell or claim or attack or call. I'm doing this because I hate my life. I didn't yell or claim or text or call. I'm doing this because I hate that I might be gay. He said because of ISIS. So yeah, he declared his allegiance to ISIS. And some other Islamic um, extremist groups. But that's besides the point. Because right now what the Western media is doing is that they're spinning it. And then they're all afraid to say what it is. Right? Everybody is afraid to say what it is. Muslims are afraid. Moderate Muslims are afraid to say what it is because they feel that they are being attacked. For what these, yeah, because what these say we're not mentally ill. We don't beat our wives. We don't do this. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You're not beating your wife. You're not doing this. You're doing not doing that. But um, there's eleven countries, eleven countries in this fucking world right now that are practicing Sharia, right? Mm. This is the Muslim or Islamic legal system. Um, some of the crazy shit that happens when you practice Sharia are, I can cut your hand off if you say something. Right? Yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid shit. Right? Um, I can That's stone old you. old time. Yeah. But we're in 2016. Right? Is it yeah, 2016? Where yeah, where a woman who was raped is getting charged for adultery. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Is this thought process 
is it conducive with the world that we live in right now? No. Right? So what do we do? <laughs> right? What do we do well, about it? Well, that's a call to arms in a way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because when you say a call something. to Yeah, when you say a call to it arms. It means we need to think about what kind of world we want to live in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody knows that well, we are in a battle of ideas. Right, we are in a battle of ideas right now, and then, and then, um, <laughs> I've been talking about this all day, but um, I'm talking about well, when you look at the clash of civilizations, right, and we are essentially going through clashes of civilizations right now, where Western civilization or Western culture is actually clashing with Islamic culture, right, certain Islamic culture because mm-hmm. you got shit that's happening in Europe right mm-hmm. now, you know, from the the refugee migration that's going on right mm-hmm. you know which is a very strange phenomenon to and me. that's stratifying a lot of countries right there uh, as yeah. to who's accepting people who's not yeah yeah and why yeah and why i mean but i don't know yeah. you know because now you're bringing in groups of people mm-hmm. um who are technically they're illiterate right if you're coming into a place like sweden mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um do you speak their language do you know their customs Right. Do you know their laws? Right. Do you know what your host country, how your host country functions? No, you don't. If you go into a place like Germany, right, do you know their customs? Right. Do you know any of these groups or any of these countries customs that you're going into? Right. But then what you're doing now is you're bringing in whole groups of people and it's not they're not small. Right. Yeah. These are a lot of fucking people that are going out and it is sad. Right. (laughs) That they have to be pushed out of where it is that they're living, mainly Syria, because of uh, because of the uh, the horrible atrocities that are going on there. But what about these other Muslim countries? Right, you have Iran, you have Saudi Arabia. Right, why aren't they accepting these people? You know, why aren't they bringing these people in if they all are coming why? from? Yeah, I what don't are know. The arguments. I don't know. I have no clue. Right, I have no clue. But I know when you look at. The, the, the traveling or the migration, they're not going to fucking Saudi Arabia, right? They're not going to Iran, right? Damn sure they're not going to Afghanistan. <laughs> they're not going to Iraq, right? Yeah. Or they're not going to Egypt, you know? Um, they're not going to Libya, right? These Libya has already been decimated mm-hmm. and destroyed, you know, because no, you got ISIS true. down there, right? So, <laughs> so what, you know, they want to go to Western civilization. Right, but then you come to Western civilization, and then you refuse to actually integrate and interface with Western civilization. You know. Well, that's kind of the problem we've always had, where we're too scared to say people don't want to assimilate into the culture that they've migrated to. Yeah, I don't believe in multiculturalism. So what does that mean? Huh? That means that if you are going to a place, mm-hmm. right? Say if you come to America, mm-hmm. all right, or if you go to any Western civilization, mm-hmm. any Western culture, then that means that you have to adhere to the values of that culture, right? Of that civilization. Yeah. And the civilization, the base nature of the civilization is freedom of thought and freedom of speech, right? Which means that you can't say shit to anybody else because you don't agree with how they dress, how they look, right? What they're wearing, right? Um, what they're eating, right? You cannot impose your ideology on them. And this is what's happening right now, right? Is that you have mass groups of people trying to impose their ideology on their host nation. So the issue might be the mass. The mass? Well, whenever you feel like you have support uh, or or you're not the minority, I mean, in in pockets, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Then maybe there's there's this sense of we have this community, we're going to just, you know, we're just going to function the way we want to function. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I lived abroad, I made it my my, uh, duty to kind of try to learn the language try to adhere as much as I could, be respectful, blah, blah, blah. And then when I came back to the States and I would see people in line at the grocery store or whatnot, like, like they, they couldn't speak English very well. Like, people are not very nice. Mm-hmm. They're not very patient. 
Where in the West? At, I dunno, just here. Just I came, came back. home. Yeah, okay. I came home. Okay. Um But that's an individual idea because people felt alone. But then when you have a whole group of people you start I I, I dunno. I don't know, like when what? you're saying Like a gang? Well you maybe, have a gang. Maybe. I mean, people feel safety in numbers, but I, where are you, when you say, like, people don't want to assimilate because they have No, they're not their assimilating. Group? No, they have mm-hmm. a, a, a cultural identity, uh-huh. right? It's like... I'm just saying, I was on my own, so I felt like I needed to reach out to the community I yeah, was living in and try to assimilate. But you come from the West, True. right? Your you know, your understanding, your worldview is based off of the Western understanding, right? Where Mm -hmm. you say, oh, yeah, you know, I understand what it means to have your own mind and to think freely, right? I understand that you have your own speech, right? I understand this, right? You know, now you have other groups of people who don't understand this. Ah. Yeah, they don't understand that. They say, no, this is my way. Right, you assimilate to me, right? You adhere to what it is that I'm doing, right? Even though that I'm coming into your house, I'm coming into your world, right? I'm coming into there, but you assimilate to me, right? That's why I was, yeah. Go. Yeah. What were you gonna no, do? no, it just all comes down to upbringing. Yeah. How how, how does not one empathize with another? How does one not empathize with another? No, just like, oh, I'm in your house. We do, like, let, let's say I go to your house. We do things your way. You come to my house, we do things my way. How is that not not an understandable idea? With people. With people? Yeah. Uh, because we're talking about something bigger than people. Okay. We're talking about culture or civilization. So you have to look at it like it's a living organism. Right. Well, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you have a living. That's what allowed me to go to another country and try to, you know, and I still kept my own identity, still kept my own culture. Yeah. You know, tried to like hang out with people from my culture when I could, because um, I needed that. Everyone needs that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you still realize, okay, well, I need to extend a little bit more to let people know I'm trying. Like, yeah, could I speak the language? No, I was shitty at it, but. People knew I was trying. They were so nice. They were so, like, happy to see me try. Like, just because effort goes a long way. And maybe that's just a person-to-person basis. Like, I think when things boil down to a person, individual, individual, like, whenever I've traveled anywhere in the world, like, if it's just one person to another, like, things are, are pretty basic. If you're a good person, a nice person, like, usually, and it should be, but things are pretty basic. I think uh-huh. when it, you know, and then what you're saying is when it gets bigger... Yeah, you get you get you get like groups and ideologies and then cultures and then and then it just mm-hmm. gets too too big and then yeah. I don't know what you're gonna say. I don't know. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah, you. Uh, I might have to go back and look at this <laughs> um, because when you look at the trickle, you know, like when when groups of people were coming into mm-hmm. the the U.S. and then they were coming in through Ellis Island, right? How many, you know, like how many massive groups of people? Were you getting? But I know during the early part of um, of uh, U.S. history, you know, you had some problems. That right? created a you, lot of problems. Yeah, Holy cow! Right? Yeah, you had problems with the Germans, right? You had problems with the Jewish people. You had problems yeah, with New the Italians. Yeah, New York itself was divided into so many different districts. Yeah, yeah still based is. on <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> this is true. like it still is, you know. But but That's you had true, yeah. all of these all of these issues mm-hmm. and all of these problems with these different cultures yeah. that we're having to integrate and and um, but we're the great melting pot so i think i think that's another lesson to remember is that's ingrained in part of our culture is to be a melting pot mm. uh, yeah i agree you think we're a melting pot i'm saying this is part of what we sh- we sh- it's part of the way i grew up is understanding america to the point that when i did live abroad mm-hmm like people, you know, it's like, what does America look like? Oh, you're blonde hair and blue eye. I'm like, no, Americans can be like this or that or whatever. Like my students would always draw me as blonde hair and blue eye. Mm, okay. I you know. know, it's like, no, I'm like, no, no. Or they would always ask me, what is America's favorite food? I'm like, well, it depends where you come from. 
Yeah. You know, it's like general Tsao chicken. Right, right. So, so it's like <laughs> going to a country that's completely monocultural mm-hmm. versus where I came from, and I to me that's always an ideal that I really treasured is that we we come from different places, we can be different places, and I think that's a luxury we have based on our history. Yeah. So if you grow up in a country that doesn't have that, it's it's not ingrained as much as it is here. I think. In my opinion. Uh, yeah, I know. Which so I think that may be some of the sticking point. I don't know. Sticking point. It's not a sticking point. <laughs> it is not a. It is not a sticking point because there is a clash of civilization. Well, like whatever. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I know. People are always trying. That. That's what I mean. Is that we're always dancing around this shit, mm-hmm. right? We we say yeah, it's a sticking point. Yeah, it's really not this. Or, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. He was insane, a little bit wacky. Yeah, you know, but his... Call it like it is. Yeah, he's a fucking radical extremist. And here we are. Yeah. And that's what we meant to say. Yeah. Here we are. We're talking about <laughs> the clash. And here yeah. we are. <laughs> right? So, this is, um, I don't know, something that Americans, something that Westerners probably need to start dialing in on right is that there are groups of people there are groups of people and they might be small right they might be small and they might be tiny because you know you do the math and you have 1.6 billion muslims out there it takes one man right? to kill 50 people yeah one man to kill 50 people so right maybe small uh no it's not small Right. That's it, my point. Yeah, it's relative, <laughs> you know, because if you had whatever, you know, um, a percentage, a tiny percentage of 1.6 billion people, that's still a lot, right? And then when you just go through and you look at the research and the studies. It's not just the 50 people you killed. Look at, we're talking about this. Everybody in this country is talking about this. It's a trickle through the whole country. It's affecting a lot of people. Uh yeah, it's affecting a lot of people mentally, right? But this one but person... But it's getting people talking. To get people talking? Well, it's getting... It's what we're doing right now. No, it's we're talking. doing that right now, right? <laughs> but I fucking look at the news uh, or the, the, the standard mass media that's going on. They're not talking about Muslims. They're not talking about Islam. They're not talking about their belief systems. They're not talking. That's about, on the news. You don't know yeah. what people in their living rooms are doing right now, just like what we're doing. Um, nope, I don't know because I'm not in their living rooms. But just imagine, what are they doing? Because I've been looking online, I've been searching, and mm. I don't see people talking about this. It's not like that. I mean, I might see a few, like um, um, uh, <laughs> Milo. Right, you know. Um, what's he said? Uh, what does he say? Yeah, oh. what's his like? Oh, he, he hates this. Of right? course. Yeah. But what's his statement? Well, no, he's seen it because he comes from Europe. He yeah. comes from the UK. Right. He's seen his country basically being taken over slowly by these radical groups. Right. You know, he's seen Sharia imposed in parts of and uh, no Europe. And no one wants to say anything because it's politically incorrect no, to say No, because when they do, are... they call them fucking racist. Yeah. They say, are you being yeah. racist? That's a stupid concept yeah. in itself. Yeah. Right? Well, I don't want... It's like it's like uh, like you said, they're coming into my house hmm? and yet I can't enforce my own rules in my own house without being called something. Hmm? And the rules are simple. Yeah, this is my house. Yeah, don't be a dick. Don't right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a, sim- a dick to everyone else yeah, who lives in this that house. That is the rule. It is a simple fucking rule. <laughs> don't be a dick and don't hurt other people. Right? You know, you do not control the way that other people think. You do not have that ability and you do not have that right. So where do we go from here? Uh, where do we go? People need to wake the fuck up. Right. I yeah. think if you put it into those terms, this is our house. Yeah. We have house rules. If you don't want to live by our house rules, leave. Eh? Yeah, you know, yeah. But you don't yeah. get to kill someone in the house. No, but then that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, and then, if you even start to delve off in deeper, deeper down into into the system, um, or into their belief system, you know, I'm gonna say their belief system because I'm slowly starting to learn about it, right? Because, um, technically, you and I, all Westerners, all people who are not Muslim, right, mm-hmm. or all people who don't practice what it is that they practice, we mm-hmm. are all kafir. 
-hmm. right? You know, we are all non-believers, right? Okay. So all non-believers, they rate differently than Muslims, those who practice Islam, right? We are looked down upon. We are second-class citizens according to their belief system. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm just talking out of my ass right now from the things that I, I've read, you know, but this is how they think, right? This is still... There's still groups of people out there that are still practicing slavery to this day, right? They are still practicing slavery to this day, and nobody's really saying shit about it, right? I mean, you might see some stuff online, right? You know, I don't even know if you can even talk about it on Twitter anymore. In this house or their house? Uh, no, in this house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might see a few blurbs, yeah. right? But you don't see it on the media, right? You don't see CNN talking about it. No. You don't see Fox talking about it. Right. You don't see MSNBC talking about it. Right. <laughs> Which is kind of sad because those are like our main media outlets for other people so they can actually see stuff. Mm -hmm. But you got this shit that's going on in the world right now, you know, where they are still stoning people. Right. There's this dude. Right. Who was who, who was sentenced. He was sentenced to 10 years. Right. 10 years in prison plus 10,000 lashes. Right. 10, 10 years in prison lashes? plus 10,000 lashes. Because he was writing a blog in Saudi Arabia, right? He was writing a blog in Saudi Arabia because he did not agree with it, right? He did not agree with it, with what it was that they're doing because he believed mm -hmm. in freedom of speech, right? So this is happening. Rock the world. Yeah. This is happening to this day. And what are we doing right now, right? Meaning over here <laughs> in the West, right? Um, Going to Starbucks, watching yeah. our shit on yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim Kardashian just dropped. You know, I'm seeing Kim Kardashian trending right now on fucking Twitter because she just dropped a, a GQ. She's on the cover of GQ magazine right now. Yeah, I know this because I was checking it out. Okay. Right. But she was on the cover <laughs> of GQ magazine basically in um, naked. Right. You know, and then this is a trending topic in fucking Twitter. You know, I guess as of today or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know. All these days are starting to run together because I'm trying to see um, – what is the pulse? You know, what are mm -hmm. people actually mm -hmm. concerned about? Right. You know, when you just had 50 people murdered, 50 people wounded. Right. And in one person claiming that he did this and he declared his allegiance to an ideology. Right. And you can spin it however the fuck you want. Right. You can spin it and you can say, no, he's not a true this or no, he's not that or no, he's yeah, a so sentence of a bigger problem. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? You got people that don't like the way that we live, and you got people that don't like themselves, right? So, yeah, it, yeah. This solution, huh? Solution that you can't come up with right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, because this is the war of ideas, right? The war of ideas means that people need to start educating themselves. People need to start studying what Islam is. Right. You need to I go. do think that's a big issue. Is yeah. that we just this has always been this like oh what are the, whatever these people believe blah blah blah. Mm. It's it's on our soil. These are mm. part, these are Americans. These are our people too. Yeah. We need to understand each other so we can come to an understanding. We can come to solutions. Mm. Yeah. Um, we can say okay, again this shit doesn't happen in our house. Yeah. Which should encompass all of our people. Mm hmm. When it comes to civil rights and freedom of people and civil human rights, exactly right, and that's that's probably where I am at this right now is because there there are human rights. Oh man, that was a loud car. So there are human rights violations, mm -hmm. you know, that are going on right now in the world. Yes, it's a pretty big world. Yes, you know, you can't police everything. You you can't right, you know, but there are human rights violations that are going on in this world right now and we're not really talking about it no. no we're not discussing it right but we're allowing people to be murdered right we're allowing people to be to have to forcefully convert from one ideology to another and if they don't convert they die this is fucking 2016 right now I can imagine if I was living in 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 the dark ages, if you want to call it that, or in the medieval times or in ancient times, you know, where you have people rolling around 
not on not on cars, not on tanks or anything like that. We didn't have the internet. You know, people were still riding around saying, I will carry this letter, you know, 20 miles away. See you in two weeks, right? <laughs> you know, we're, we're not living in that time. We're living in a time now where we can communicate at the speed of light, mm-hmm. right? We can use the internet. And there are human rights violations that are going on and nobody's saying shit about it. Right. Or nobody's actually bringing it up to light. Yeah. That's a problem. The human rights violation just can, you know, it just happened this past weekend, right? Because 50 people were murdered, right? And then you got some dumb fucks here in America um, that are still saying, they're still saying that, you know what? And these these are Christian groups now, they're right? Like, oh, hold on. We're going to, yeah. like, kill ISIS. It's like, you're talking about homegrown, like, issues that people are dissatisfied. People are not aligning. People are not respecting other people. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then what? And then what? What are you saying? It's like I was saying. It's, it's the whole house metaphor. We don't live in the house. We don't respect each other in this house. Mm-hmm. We don't want to live in the house. Or you kill someone, <laughs> you have to go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. it's very simplistic, I realize. But no. it's a big metaphor for, for what we want as an idealized, like an ideal society. Like, don't make me say utopia because I know utopia doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, topic. Yeah, you want a society, you know. So topia is what you would you would want to say. Yeah, you know, which is yeah, of course, Greek word. Ha. No, actually, Latin. Yeah, for place. You want a place, right? That has certain rules, or has certain structures, right? Yes, you can think certain things. But do not impose. Yeah, I mean that's a little bit simplistic, like. But why do you keep saying it's a little simplistic? Because I think it is. Because what what is simplistic about it? I guess simplistic is how do you enforce it? The idea is the idea is spot on, I think. But how do you enforce it? How do you? That's what I mean, the law is for. Many people want to play. Oh, okay. Yeah. But this guy was on a watch list. This guy was on the radar. Yeah, but now he's on a radar watch list for the FBI. Right. The FBI has a shitload of stuff to do. Right. You know, and yeah. Okay. Let me get into a community. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it would go. Mm, Yeah. Community action. And then some people would say, well, is it not a form of vigilantism? No. Shut the fuck up. Right. It is not a form of vigilantism. I'll protect my house. Yeah. It is a form of. I'm going to go back to when our Constitution and Bill of Rights was made. I'm going to protect me and my own. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, you know. that kind of sparked the whole gun movement after this whole situation, too. Well, yeah, because now the whole world is talking about, damn, America, America, they got all those guns out there. No wonder stuff like this is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the guns, you know, that's just, you know, like when you say, yeah, we got drug problems, you know, and it's the drugs, right? It's mm. like you're blaming the wrong shit, right? Mm-hmm. You know, people use tools mm-hmm. because we are homo sapien right man the thinker but then man the thinker actually uses tools because tools are what I, what allows us to actually interact in and inform our re- our world or our reality so now you have people that are blaming a tool right you know mm-hmm. blaming a tool somebody dropped this stat down there and it was kind of bullshit to me they said 8,000 people have been killed by gun violence this year um, in America and I'm like, well, fuck off. It's a gun. It's a tool. Yeah, I understand that it's meant its sole purpose that it was um, created for mm-hmm. was to cause harm, right? To kill something, right? But 1.3 million people have been killed this year or last year from automobile accidents. Yeah. Yeah, right? You know, should we ban that, right? Should we do something with that? Right, there's 1.3 million people. Nobody's talking shit about that, you know. That's in the U.S. Yeah, that's just in the U.S., you know. So, so then I'm not even gonna go down the. Yeah, I mean, you can go down the rabbit hole with that one and look at all the other ways. You know, I'm not even gonna talk about deaths in healthcare, right? You know, (laughs) I won't even talk about that, right? I'm not gonna talk about. (laughs) I'm not gonna talk about um, cigarettes, you know, alcohol poisoning, or any of this other stuff that's actually going on where you have more people that are actually dying 
from these things mm-hmm. than a or fucking just use the yeah. stick to further and all that. Yeah, right. I mean it, so. it. It sounds cool. So basically, what it boils down to is that we have a problem with taking care of each other, right? We have a problem with looking out for each other. That's a good point. Right? Yeah. I like that way yeah. stated. Yeah, we do not want to look out for the other. Like I was reading this article. Why is that? I wonder. Huh? Why do you think that is? Because we're tribal creatures. Tribal people take care of each other and mm. need to. It's yeah, but we're tribal creatures because we've been force fed. We've been force fed this thought process that we are a diverse group of people. Yes, we have many different people here in America, right? Or we have been force fed this other concept of multiculturalism. You think right? the tribe's too big? No, it's not the tribe is too big. It's that people are fucking stupid. What was right. the article you were mentioning? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was something in Urbanist or something like that. But mm-hmm. they were talking about um, you cannot regulate this, right? There are too many guns, right? Um, they're not going to, you know, ratify the Constitution, you know, by getting rid of the getting rid of the right to bear arms, right? You know, you can try to regulate, it, but there's still going to be guns out there. There's more you can guns. 3D print a gun. Yeah. Huh? You can 3D print a yeah. gun. Yeah. But but the point is, is that the people that are acting out mm-hmm. with weapons, they have problems. They have mental health problems, right? So now, how do you look at these people? You know, when you see, like, the, the you know, anything that has taken place in Sandy Hook, you know, any of these mass shootings that have taken place in America, right? They are isolated human beings, right? They are isolated human beings, and then they felt this is my only outlet. This is my only recourse, right? I am going this way. So then it tell it talks about more of us as a collective group, you know, as a culture, is that we don't really care about each other. Yeah, you know? we talk about, oh, we have to regulate the guns, but it's not about we need to provide more services for people that are actually in need. Yeah, and then I blame multiculturalism. I blame the fact that you think that you are in this place called America or called the West, right? And that you think that you have different beliefs, that you should be able to live in a different way than somebody else that imposes or isolates other groups of people, right? That's not cool, right? That's not cool. And I'll go to, you know, you can talk about Black Lives Matter, right? You can talk about social justice warriors, right? You can talk about all these, yeah, all these other fucking groups of people that are out here isolating themselves and saying that, you know, I need a safe space, right? You know, that's racist, but I'm offended, right? You're in fucking America, (laughs) right? You're in the West, right? And you can talk this shit out here, right? Go someplace else talking this shit, right? Go to Saudi Arabia, go to fucking Saudi Arabia talking this shit about, I'm in a safe, I want a safe space. You can't do this to me, right? All right, yeah, let's go ahead and lock your ass up for a little bit. You know, you you go put on a fucking niqab, right? Because I don't want to see you. you. You have too much skin. You have too much skin showing, right? You know, make sure you pray five times a day, right? All of you. And if you don't, you're apostate. You die, right? But you can get away with that shit here in America. And that's that's probably the problem. I'll blame Foucault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll blame Foucault. Mm-hmm. I'll blame helicopter parents. Right. I'm going to blame. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to blame the helicopter parents. I'm going to blame the universities. Right. I'm going to blame all these fucking people who just baby each other. Right. You know, every time somebody goes around and they say that I'm offended. Right. I'm offended. How the fuck are you offended? You know, who caused you harm? But what's really you mentioned before, we don't take care of each other. What's really taking care of each other? Because that, that's not exactly taking care of each other that's taking care of an agenda that's you know yeah there is no agenda right right yeah well what would be the agenda is that yeah you know i don't know how how are we taking care of each other that way how are we taking care of each other which way how do we take care of each other maximize well-being yeah you maximize well-being wellness whatever it is that you want to care you know, if you say happiness, all of that stuff, right? But the thing is, is you want to maximize well-being. So if you feel that you are in a place where you are not optimizing your full potential, why aren't you optimizing your full potential? Because you have 
the ability, if you work together, if you do things, right, you know, to where you can lift yourself up, you can raise up, mm -hmm. and you can do all sorts of things, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you might not be doing something on the same level as may someone else, mm -hmm. right? But the rules are the same for everyone, right? The rules okay. are the same for everyone. That's, that's the key right there. Taking care of each other means that there's a level playing ground. The right? rules are the same. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I thought you were gonna go off on. It. I wish I had Onto. something more profound to tell you, but yeah. I think it's kind of gonna be a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't be. think we figured it out quite yet. Figured what out? I mean, some things seem obvious. On the like, like I keep coming back to this, like individual, like family, small community. Like we get it, but then something fucked up happens when things get mag uh, magnified. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, we've seen it. You know, you have a group of people. You learn how to work with each other. You have a great community. Everyone kind of contributes. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of respect for people and their their ideas. But then, I I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, I get what you're saying about multiculturalism where... Failed. Like, we're always saying, this is a great thing. We're a melting pot. I love that this, you know, on, on, on the block, we have this person. They're from this country, and they, they do this, and we get to learn this from them. Like, like that's kind of like a kind of a, a beautiful, like, like a sitcom that we <laughs> like to watch on TV. But is that the issue where it's like you have these individualistic, it's like, like, come on, I live in an apartment complex where I don't, know most of the people that live here and most people I say hi to won't even say hi to me in the elevator. Yeah, why? Think about that shit. You know, and the people that do no, think have about the that. same culture that I do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I told you the day, I'm like, oh my god, this person who is not the same culture as me, like, actually said hi and, like, tried to have a conversation with me and I'm like, that's fantastic. Yeah. And we had a great exchange. It can happen. It can. But that's not the norm. Only if they come from the same culture. No. That's what the point was is that this person did not come from the same culture and yet they were trying to like have a good conversation with me i mean i initiated it but it was it was great and that's why it was noteworthy because other mm. times it's not mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah because you try to uh, you try to interact and, and you try fail. to yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 but i don't know i'm gonna keep trying well that's all you can do but yeah this 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 whole thing I've been mulling this over in my head um, um, for a while with all the books <laughs> that, that I've been reading. But I think, yeah. There's lots of them all over. Yeah, but it's it, going to be solved in 45 minutes. No, it's not going to be solved. But then what happens is that we need to start educating ourselves. You start talking yeah. and then you start educating. Yeah, yeah. So, so then, um, yeah, I'm probably going to gonna um start a series of course on uh um clash of civilizations right because it's, it's much easier because the world is so massive the world is so big but then you have to be able to understand the world that we live in right now and you have to understand that there are different civilizations and we are all interfacing with each other right now and this is why you know it's sometimes hard to talk to somebody who comes from russia Right. This is why it is hard sometimes to talk to somebody. It's the business world. Yeah. You don't negotiate the same kind of business negotiations with someone from Asia that you would with Russia, that you would with Eastern Europe. Mm. Uh, you don't. It's a different manner of communication. Well, oh, negotiate. You mean Nego the way that I'm you I'm just communicate. talking about the business world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. They've already learned that. Yeah. This culture does it this way. This culture doesn't like to talk about this. So, you know, like, mm -hmm. like. There, there's cues. There's, there's, there's a way of understanding each other. I think you need to make that more culturally available to everybody. Yeah, yeah, it should because be because we're not the same. We're different, but we can, uh, we can try to understand each other. <laughs> I want to say coexist, but I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> I almost yeah. went there, but I can't stand that word because yeah. it just. Uh, yeah. It's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that 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 will be the next uh the next phase. Cuz um I don't care. This is bullshit and it's crazy. 
it's, it's bullshit get worse. and it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. It will get crazy, but um Yeah. I'm still optimistic. No, you can be optimistic. I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the societal norms, the societal norms of the other civilizations that are out there. Mhm. Not people. Okay, who cares? <laughs> well, there I we guess go. yeah, that's that's enough for this that's rant. The tea. Um Yeah, so fuck it. I guess I'll apologize if this offended anyone. Even though I really don't care if it did offend anyone because oh, they're just man. words. We're just right? talking yeah. in a country that we have the right to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> we are open to ideas. That's the whole point. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, but I was just like closing out. Yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, and you were like, no. No, but I'm closing out with you. Oh, so you were saying no? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, finish that. Say that again because that was pretty good. No, I'm just saying it's, 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 we have, as closing, we don't want to offend anyone, but at the same time, we have ideas and everyone is right to their own ideas. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a gross one. Yeah, everybody has a right to their ideas. And Why? we live in a country that we can do that. Yeah. And because that's fucking fantastic. Those are, those are the base. That's our base foundation. Western civilization's base foundation is freedom of thought mm-hmm. and freedom of speech. Right? Mm-hmm. And if you can't fuck with it, if you can't hand it because you are way too sensitive, mm-hmm. right? Because you are so easily offended because you feel that when someone talks about someone's belief system Mm -hmm. that they are now racist then fuck off no you're just open to dialogue yeah yeah open to dialogue okay i guess i'll end it on that happy note yeah open to dialogue i'm gonna say if you get offended fuck off well thanks for listening good night